All right, today we're breaking down another money hill in MW3 competitive. This time we're going to be jumping over to the map Skid Row and basically looking at the P2 on that map and why it is such an easy hold for teams and how teams are actually utilizing these holds to get a lot of points on this hill and really turning it into a money hill. So we'll talk about rotations, spawns, things to do on the hill specifically if you're holding and how you can try and break on in and really basically draw it all, all for you guys uh, on the Telestrator so you guys can get a better picture of what's going on on the map from an overhead view. All right, so we're looking at this overhead of the map. As you guys probably know, P2 is in this building over here towards the corner of the map. And what we're going to see a lot of times on this map, specifically at the start of the game, you know, teams are going to have these initial gunfights around P1. And then once those gunfights go down, you're going to instantly see both teams trying to instantly rotate to this p2 from both sides making sure that they can hold down their rotation and really set up for this new time a lot of times it's basically whoever gets to this p2 building first and locks down that area will be the ones who can get those initial rotation kills and get that initial positioning that's so important for this p2 a lot of the times you'll actually even see teams you know chalk up a full you know 40 seconds on this p1 especially if they don't win the break just to cut their losses and set up up for the new time because it's almost a guaranteed 60 all the time if you play it right. So you'll see this this weekend. I'm sure Skid Row is going to be played when the matches start. And I really think you're going to see a lot of times, you know, even really towards the early stages of that break off, you're going to see one or two kills go down and you're instantly going to see those teams try and rotate for this P2. So when we're talking about this initial positioning, it's, you know, getting through this tunnel, making sure you're crossing over towards this time, at least sending one person there because off of that old time, you can have other people that can finally start getting your crosses and help you out, making sure you have those teammates that rotate with with you holding this tunnel side if they're coming from that way or if you're already coming from that tunnel side making sure you know they at least have these crosses towards this no man's area to make sure that if they're spawning towards this back alley towards the end of the p1 uh, that you can cut them off before they try and get in any sort of position to try and break that p2 so the name of the game just like it was on the invasion get that early positioning it is so much easier to hold this hill than break it so really just making sure that you cut your losses on that p1 if you especially if you lost that break and just get to new just play that rotation and start playing ahead for that next hill. So let's talk about the main spawns for this P2. We have our P2 here, but we're going to have, you know, three main, let's say, areas of the spawns. Let's say one is this area towards this P3, another, let's say, over towards this Godstairs area, and another towards the middle of the map towards Garage here. You know, these aren't the exact positionings of the spawns, but you'll see groupings of areas of where players will spawn in those three areas. So making sure if you're the ones holding this hill in this P2, you're you're cutting off the lanes that they could be coming from if you're not blocking the other two or if you don't have teammates coming from that area. So let's say we get early positioning towards this P2. We're making sure we're holding it down from the top position. And let's say we have other people rotating. Let's say we have another guy that's in garage, another guy that's playing, you know, towards this P5 area, making sure our ticket is watched. Uh, so we're trying to make sure that we're covering all these different areas. And let's say we just have our fourth guy, let's say playing low time. You know, a lot of times you'll see teams playing two people towards the hill uh, one person actually in the hill on the top floor and another person on the bottom floor just as like a safety net so let's say if we have a perfect setup you know let's say he's watching his no man's this guy's kind of a playing you know jiggles not actually full-on challenging so these two guys are working together this garage guy is watching the tunnels push and then this guy in the hill can be watching uh, the garage push in case anyone tries to flood this guy in the garage so let's say we're in this type of setup and it's just off of old time on p1 let's say we have three guys on the enemy team towards this way one guy's on this old time you know you know, a lot of times uh, teams will try and break with this old guy you know sending him through the tunnels as a, like a late pincher and these three guys will try and break on through uh, this p5 side the only thing is for these type of breaks you're going to be seeing the team holding play with a lot of ars usually you'll, you'll see three to four ars maybe one sub that might be playing towards you know a garage area over here cutting this off but most of the time you will see teams dominantly using this ar on this hill just because of these long sight lines as i was saying before you know sight lines to no man's like this any kills from the player on time watching this way just really long sight lines that are just free kills for an ar because of these open areas 
and for the enemy team it's just so hard sometimes to actually start getting on these trades and let's say this breaking team even gets a kill towards this p5 that means they still have to get you know three more kills to break on in and they're coming around this p5 area coming around graffiti as well and now you're still having to break another wave of kills because we still have two people that are on this time and that can adjust and start watching these two areas so you know being inside the hill or on the bottom level is just a super flexible position not only can you watch garage you can watch the back you can watch graffiti you can even watch tunnel from the windows and from the doorway low so you can have access to all of these different angles from wherever they're coming from so even if you're pushed down on the cuts and let's say you're one of these players over here you can have your other teammates kind of bail you out if you die by having that trade while they're still in the hill and let me clear this out for you just so it's just easier to see but you know let's say we do have our two guys on hill this guy dies you know this is still opportunities for trades and let's say this guy p5 does die he's just spawning out you know either back p4 middle of the map and garage if they're not blocking this or breaking through that or back b3 and guess what that puts all of these guys that are trying to break on in through this side on a huge you know timer think of it as like a bomb ticker waiting to go off you just know it's eventually going to go off at some point so you have to go and push on in and try and break this hill before that guy that's on a timer is coming around to try and pinch you and kill you on that flank that he just got for free just by dying and if he doesn't spawn out you know p3 over here and he spawns out tunnel guess what all he has to do is walk through this tunnel and now he's getting this cut once again and he can probably get his own trade if these guys aren't even fast enough to try and break on in through this open area you know think about it that way he can technically get his own trade because of the way that he spawns out and can instantly pick up a cut if he spawns that way and there are other times you know if we don't have someone playing in this middle area let's say this other guy was playing you know over here towards this corner and trying to help out you know the back p5 that way there are chances where if you die over towards this p5 and you spawn back up you can spawn you know middle of the map towards garage over here and once again you're already cutting this lane off so if players are you know trying to break on in through this back side or through graffiti side you're spawning once again into another cut where they have to bypass you before they get onto the hill and you can just get another freebie set of kills where they have to basically hard clear you you know come around over here insta chow you kill you and then focus on the guys on the hill and again that's just assuming that these guys on hill don't have your cross as well so you're just crossing with each other constantly and it's just a super hard break on in for the other team and then let's say you're trying to break from this tunnel side and the enemy team is holding from you know let's say this box over here they have you know let's say one guy on time this time we have another guy garage and we have another guy you know let's say towards this graffiti area you know these guys are able to have these crosses once again where they can hold areas of the hill that you have to funnel on into let's say you're spawning on this tunnel side you're just going to get instanated insta child when you're in this box so making sure you have trophies in there is a way to break but hopefully you chow together kill one of these guys maybe two of these guys maybe one of your guys off spawn takes a different route over here and creates a little bit of distraction so it's not you know straight up where you're just trying to funnel through this one area you take another route uh, but once again you know you do have areas on the hill where you can watch this if you're on the top soaking time you can easily get kills towards this garage area so you know it's just really really hard to break it because of the ways that you can get funneled and even if you get kills you're still on this timer where you know some impending doom is coming with a player spawning behind you so you have to be quick on the break and have to clear all these different angles but it's just a super super hard position because the other power positions that the holding team is using are just so much more beneficial so as a breaking team you know the best way to probably break this is you know it is going to be really hard but you know trying to get this guy off of time making it white time whether you're team nating from over here or from the tunnel or whether you're trying to pick him off of time and maybe he scams that's your best chance of trying to make an opening because if you can get this to white time first of all you're not letting them get points on that hill so they're not soaking it as much they're not making it as a money hill as they should have and second off you're gonna have another guy on that holding team have to back off their power position to get time so they're backing off either from you know the lower which you can still you know make sure you try and gun him while he turns your back towards you you know let's say you're breaking from this side he turns his back because he has to go up the stairs to get time that's an area for you to kill him or you know if he's exposed from this door and you guys are coming from tunnel once again he tries to back up towards to get in the hill but you can get this cross from tunnel if you have an angle on him so making sure you try and get that white time disrupt their setup so that they have to you know adjust for that is going to be your best chance of just at least making this mixy but to be honest if they play it well it's just super hard to break and you're just not expected to break this so pretty much 
much the best way to break it like i said on the evasion p5 is just to have a really good rotation to it a really really early rotation to it that's why you're going to be seeing so many teams rotate to it you know just off the initial kills of p1 because of this initial positioning at the top floor of this hill you can see everything from it and you can basically use uh, all of these angles as like head glitches so there's a little like a ledge over here and a windowsill over here and you can kind of make sure that you're using this as a head glitch by crouching and really utilizing your angles to your advantage and if you're using those angles to your advantage you honestly shouldn't really die from anyone that's garage or towards the open area towards graffiti or p5 it's just such an easy power position to get kills on so honestly making sure you're getting those kills helping out your team that's also watching those cuts but most importantly staying alive because if you die at a hill that's going to make the rest of your team have to adjust to that try and get time and that's just the best chance for that breaking team to start disrupting your setup and start making that hill mixy so that's going to do it for the breakdown of skid row p2 a huge money hill right now for mw3 competitive hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one